Welcome back, everybody. This is more Resident Evil. I hope it's gonna be more forest. No. Uh, I'm sorry. No, we're not... We're not going back to the forest. Um... Also, we're pretty much done with the mansion. We're gonna go in probably my least favorite part of the game. Uh oh. Not because not because it's it's bad to play, just because it's very dull. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's gonna be one of these updates. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple funny things. It's just that you'll you'll see what it is it's basically it's not a sewer level but it's the game's equivalent of a sewer level oh boy just because of how visually dull it is and there's really not much to do in it oh boy so essentially it's gonna be a real left riot I'm sure right so you see this this side of the the place I've never went there there's an elevator over there oh okay but it's it's not um, turned on. You can't use it. Okay, so you have to turn it on first. I bet using yes. a key or something. Well, you have to do it from the other side. Oh. You have to go through the pool. So... This is this is all related to the pool puzzle. Uh, okay. You'll, you'll, it'll, it'll become clear soon. Okay, so it's gonna be like... Uh, oh shit, the snakes are still here. <laughs> Yeah. Also, oh, where the hell are the snakes coming from? Are they dropping I from the sky? <laughs> yeah, there's a... Uh, I don't know. The, the crows are so mad at me that they're making ra snakes rain. <laughs> yeah, whoever you right. pissed off, he really likes snakes. Yeah, so... Right, we end up over here. And there is the other side of the elevator. Uh, and I opened my inventory just to realize, wait, I forgot the key item. <laughs> that we're gonna cut to me having the key item? Because oh, I wasn't right. gonna re-record that. It's the battery. So, please tell Fact me, just it's, because... It's, if you look, it's factory made. Okay. Factory, yeah. Factory, yeah, factory made. I couldn't right. tell the what was written below The powers of the factory will make this elevator work. Well, you just put it in, it's plug and play, I guess. Yeah. I like it when uh, things are really simple. Right, and now we end up on the other side, here. So, you, if you remember what I told you about the pool... Oh. N now we can, um... Okay, now we can fill it up again, then we're gonna be able to go behind the waterfall passage because exactly. now we won't have the fear of being wet anymore. Yes, because I'm fairly sure the only reason we can't go in there is because of the water. There's not, there's no like secret door that opens when the waterfall stops being there. So like Jill just doesn't want to get wet <laughs> again. Because I mean. She got wet when she went into the shark pool. I don't... I don't know. That was this one is... time too many that I got wet. I'm never doing this again. I, I mean, you know, um, early horror games were basically point-and-click adventure games with horror elements, I think. That's what Alone in the Dark kind of was. And yeah. I, th I think a problem they had is that they followed a little bit too much of that sort of logic. Yeah. So you just have nonsensical, uh, use the weird item on the puzzle. Alright, now I can go to this place while being fully dry! Oh, this place looks really humid. Um, <laughs> does it, I don't, I don't know. So this is the mine? Oh, okay, so instead of a sewer, it's a mine. It, it's a mine, it's a... It's not very interesting to look at, and it doesn't even do the thing that the other areas do, which is like every other area in the game, mainly the mansion I guess, but the residence does it a little bit, where you're basically left into a place you have to explore. So you're gonna you're gonna go in all of the rooms and you're gonna pick up the items and you're gonna you're gonna see the puzzles and you're gonna think I have to remember to do this there and I have to remember to do th this there and so you're gonna figure out how to solve the mansion here it's it's like 
This place is a line. Oh, yeah, this is what I would have guessed. There's like, there's like, one way, there's like two ways to go from the entrance. And you have to, to to go one way, then backtrack to the other way, and then backtrack back to the first way. It's because that's how the keys are placed. Oh. So there's a large boulder. I sure hope nothing will happen. <laughs> well, apparently something already happened because there was blood underneath the boulder. Yeah, that's not foreshadowing or anything. Yeah. <laughs> It's like at least they could have put in some music. No, you gotta have atmosphere, come on. Oh, fuck yes, Here, here's a puzzle. Um... Oh, like that's a puzzle and just half of a key. Oh. <laughs> it's a shaft. I'm getting some weird... Um, never mind. Symbols are carved onto it. If you can, you can tell they're Roman numerals and half... Like, their bottom halves is missing, but you can still read what they are. <laughs> also, handgun ammo. Here's to I a think... gun that I don't think we're ever gonna use again. Actually, we might use it later. Just... Is that more. you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're yeah, Enrico! I remember Stop. and I don't remember Enrico. Yeah, me neither. But we haven't met no. him yet. <laughs> but why? He's actually the, the captain of the Bravo team that we were looking for. Someone is a traitor. And the traitor is right a behind us. Dun dun dun. <laughs> you, your reaction was a bit <laughs> late, <know>. Jill. Yeah. <laughs> don't go after the the person who shot. The gun or anything. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> oh no, Jail, my very delayed synapses betrayed me once again. No. I better use my radio to call in some backup. Oh wait, doesn't work. I mean, I mean to be fair, uh, Chris has the exact same kind of reaction in the same cutscene. <laughs> okay. Although, although the cutscene goes differently for Chris, uh, there is a, a big difference. I don't want to spoil what it is. Okay, so we had to dump our first crank in order to get a different looking crank with a red handle. Well, because this one, yeah, this one has an hexagonal uh, uh, end, and that's what all the, the switches use here. Also, surprise hunters! Oh, he must have been the one who shot him to death. Yeah, that's, that explains it. Also, I really like your battle strategy of just shooting until he dies. What else do you expect? This is Resident Evil, not Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> I can't chop it up in pieces. Well, maybe you <laughs> could if you had a survival knife. And dodge. Do all these things that I'm very good at in Metal Gear Rising. Also, holy shit, suddenly we're swimming in handgun ammo. Yeah, for some reason the the game just gives up back a lot of ammo, and I think th there's a good reason for that. We're actually probably gonna end up using the gun later on. Right. And, oh shit! These ones weren't even looking at me. I took them by surprise. Okay, for two hunters that was surprisingly easy. Yeah, I mean, the hunters are dangerous the first time you meet them, and when they take you by surprise by just jumping out of the window, when they're just sitting in the corridor. It's like, whatever. Yeah, it's not really efficient. Oh, yeah. It's time for the handgun to do a triumphant comeback? No, that's, that's gonna be for later. Oh. Alright, it's time the, for the, the grenade the normal, launcher to do it. Here's the thing, the normal zombies are gonna make a comeback, and since I don't necessarily want to use good ammo on normal zombies, we'll be using the handgun later on just to weed out the normal zombies of a certain area. Ah, uh, yeah, I was starting to miss these guys. Right, but I took the grenade launcher, do you know what that means? Uh-oh. 
Oh, that means you have to put the grenade launcher here in order to activate a trap. I don't know. Um... No, but there is something that's kind of like that in this video. Okay. This is also very stupid. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have put uh, Indiana Jones music right there. <laughs> I'll just edit and post. <laughs> So was that the same boulder from earlier, or it's another? No, that one? was that's a different corridor. Okay. We haven't been there yet. Shotgun shells. All right. But yeah, with that said, I definitely can see your point about this place so far. It's, it's not very interesting. Oh, holy look! Shit, it's a it's giant my... spider. <laughs> That's my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh boy. Did I ever tell you I hate insects and spiders? Oh, okay. At least I was... Uh, oh, okay. I, I was gonna Fuck say... Off. So this this boss fight... It does a little bit of a dick move if you're not prepared for it. Yeah, I saw because it! Because you don't... It's not just that it's a boss fight. It, you don't actually need to fight it. You can just exit out of the room, but the room is blocked by spider webs. Oh, which so you, you have need to cut knife. with a survival knife. Thankfully, they do give you one here. You don't have to get out and take it from your chest, but. Oh, uh, and just in case that you take too much time, do you get ambushed by that one spider who was walking on the roof? Uh, the longer the boss fight takes, the more spiders there's gonna be. Like, spiders just spawn. I think there might be a limit to how many you can spawn, but they will spawn in the room, um, periodically. Uh oh. It's not, that's, it's not really a tough boss fight, just two grenades and killed it. Yeah, I suppose it's more a thing that might be hard if you're not expecting it. It's a surprise boss. Also, I'm a fan of all of these rotating uh, corridors where yeah. there's just like one part I, which is missing. I can't, I can't, this is a mine. I can't imagine what the use of these things could be to the miners. Like, yeah. What's their perp also? Hello, boulder. No. <laughs> yeah, this boulder is crank activated. <laughs> okay, so are you prepared for the best block pushing puzzle in the game? Oh no. Please tell me there's not more of these. There is. Um so there's there's a plate that just spins when you walk on it. Here, and there's a statue that's stuck against a wall. We can't... We don't have the ability to pull things. We can only push them. Curse so you, the selective the, strength. On the side of the wall, there's there's a thing in the wall also that's we not... We better adjust the brightness. <laughs> so we crank that to push it out of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very clever puzzle, you see. <laughs> No, but I don't know why I kept pressing start for some reason. Well, I'm really started to be excited by this puzzle. Right, so now that we can push the statue out of the wall... Oh, please tell me you have it... to push it on the rotating thing. Please tell me. Well, we have to put it, like, in the emplacement, but she's facing the wrong way. So yeah, we have to oh. put it in the place <laughs> to, to make her face the right way. That, that's not enough. We have to... Push it away and push it back. Right. You know, I could I could buy the mansion having traps and mechanisms just to fuck around with people. <laughs> it's like that. this one. This one is a little pushing it. Don't you think? <laughs> it just well, assumes made, that whoever I, I, is here doesn't have the possibility to do anything which resembles. Uh, Physical labor of a kind or something. I, I don't know. That's... 
But hey, at least this one was clever. I gotta say, that was pretty funny. I... <laughs> <laughs> I... I couldn't help myself. I mean, this is... That good call. That's a good call. I... I... You... You expect to hear some of this. This is such a Zelda puzzle. Oh, alright. Right. Now we have a proper key. Right, so apparently Jill... Like, just turn it left, Jill. But why, why are you making me go all the long way? I wanna I don't see even know everything! The thing is, I don't even have to do this. This is just done so you can see the numbers, but okay. it doesn't matter. You can just use it as a key without putting it in the right place. And I, I got confused because I'm like, wait, where's the door? Where's the exit door? Oh, oh it's right yeah. there. None of the camera angles made it really convenient for you to see that. Like, holy shit, I can't get out. I'm trapped here forever. Quick, you better push on, use your crank in order to make some more things happen out of rent. It's like, forget all of the million keys that you've had in the game so far. The new star of the game is the red crank. Yeah, we've used it like... One, three, four... Five, six times. And all in all, in only 16 minutes. Well, not counting, like, the first five minutes I spent not bringing the key item to the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, we're just we have gonna... to backtrack. You see why I hate this? Like, this is just a line, and now we have to backtrack over there. Yeah, we have to go from one line to the other. And now we have two survival knives. Why All right, do you, you have to dual wheel your du your survival knives in order to God, be I really wish you could style. do that. I wish you could do that. You can't. <laughs> yeah, let's just say that melee combat in this game was not really a thing back when this game was made. It reminds me, I started playing Dark Souls 2, and I'm wondering if I should try dual wielding something. I don't know, so far I haven't seen the appeal of it. I don't know, some people have been telling me that um, dual wielding punch weapons is really good. Oh yeah. Or really fun. Yeah, usually uh, you, most people don't stand a chance when you do your thing really well. Let, let's just talk about a more interesting game. Yeah. Because <laughs> nothing is happening in this one. Oh, all right. Right, now so that's... the numbers on the shaft just mean wh which order you have to press those buttons, yep. that's all. All right, and now we have an elevator going to the bowels of it. Well... If you're expecting the bowels of hell, I think you'll be disappointed. <laughs> well, what other bowels could I expect? Jill! Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here. A noise you heard? <laughs> to find a place you know this, sense. my, I... What kind of noise did you hear? Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? I don't think I trust you, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you hear a gunshot? Because I know I heard it really well. He just heard the Zelda noise, actually. <laughs> 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 he was really confused. What the hell is that? The hell is that sound? It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Oh yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Yeah. You're not even subtle anymore. <laughs> here, go lock yourself into this fridge locker. I'll make sure it's safe. <laughs> what? What was that noise? betrayed us. What a surprise. Yeah, it's like I kind of have trouble understanding what he's supposed to be about. It's like 
earlier in the game you know uh, that he's see. like the traitor, and then he saves you after you learn about that thing, and now he decides to be a dick. Um, you, you'll see. It's very clever. Oh. Also, yeah. Remember, remember that creature that bumped us on the head. Oh. Uh, he in the cabin. Please tell me it's back. Well, it, it's it's in that corridor. We just saw it. Oh yeah. Um, and it's it's like it's a circular corridor, so it's going around, and it's really easy to avoid it. You know what have what will have made this uh, circular corridor better? No. Forest. Well, I don't think you can grow trees underground. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I'm, and I'm, I'm, still I'm so choosing to I'm choosing to not understand what you mean. <laughs> oh, we're definitely not gonna fight regular zombies again. Um, the thing is, we are, and I'm very, very worried that when I do the part where zombies come back with Chris, is gonna be full of forest. <laughs> Oh dang, I hope it's like that. Holy shit, it's gonna make Because there's no so reason fun. they couldn't put him there. Uh I do not I do not look forward to doing that. Also block pushing! Yay! Alright. And a thing for transporting stuff from one side of the mine to the other. Th that 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 makes sense, right? So, was there Although any it, reason why you couldn't have ridden the crate along, or...? Um... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're also, just gonna... it, looked, it looked really n not stable. I think the crate should have fallen. That's a super glued crate. Except it was wobbling, but... Never mind. <laughs> Let's just call it the Resident Evil logic. Yay! Point and click adventure logic. <laughs> That's really what it is. Tank control logic. Thankfully, we have a chest here in case we don't have our guns. <laughs> Although our guns wouldn't actually be useful here. Like, we can... If, we, if you shoot the monster, you can stun it. It'll it'll stay down for a little while, but you can't kill it, and there's okay. no point in wasting ammo on it. Okay, it's like you can't even set it on fire neither. No. Oh, so it's fireproof. Speaking of fire, uh, we're gonna get an interesting new weapon. Uh oh. In this crate. Although not quite as interesting as you th you might think. All right, so we it's just... kind of a it's kind of a tease, really. <laughs> what do you think that is? Oh, is that is that the rocket launcher? Mm, I. It's it's a oh. broken oh. flamethrower. Oh. God damn it, Resident <laughs> Evil! Why? You look at it. The muzzle is broken, you cannot fire it. it oh is, my god. Well, it, I mean, it, to be fair, we just crushed it in a garbage compactor, so it's like... It probably should have been expected in dent work, but still, that's kind of a dick move. Yeah, it's not actually a weapon, it's a key item. Ah. Now, I wanted to set zombies on fire, not use it in order to solve a puzzle. Now, the interesting thing is that when you play as Chris, you do get a, f a working flamethrower. Except but probably only, not here. You can only use it in the mine against the spider boss. Uh? Yes, because if you remember around like the spider boss room, there was those weird things on the wall. And we're going to see one, actually, another one. And you're supposed to use the flamethrower as a key. You put it on these things and it unlocks the door. For some reason, they're just not there <laughs> on Jill's game and the door is just not locked. Okay. Uh, but they still kept the, the same puzzle down there where the flamethrower is broken. So we pull that lever and this other door we haven't been to. There's those things that just 
come out of the wall. Oh, please tell me you have to put your flamethrower here. And you put the flamethrower on, oh. on the things, <laughs> and, it, I, and it unlocks the door. <laughs> That's like the stupidest use of a flamethrower now, I've ever seen. I have to wonder, why do you need a flamethrower in a mine? Like, this isn't a torch for wielding, this is a flamethrower. Uh, maybe I, it's I, in order to light the candles. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I'm I'm pretty sad that this is a. I kind of like this room. This is a really creepy room. We don't have anything to do in there. We just pass through. Yeah, and dodge the snakes. And we end up in a weird little living area. There's a jewelry box. They did not bother making a puzzle for this jewelry box. It's okay. really disappointing. You just, like you just push a button. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just open it. And we get a stone ring. Also, notes. Files. Files about people getting injected with viruses. Oh boy. Uh, George is George Trevor, the guy we keep finding journals from. But this is not Trevor's journal. This is his daughter's, I think. Uh -huh. Um, I, I have to say this is kind of the... one of the creepier journals just because of what it describes. Yeah. Like, I'm not entirely sure what's happening. She got mom's face back. But... It's it's open to interpretation, I suppose. Yeah. And it's pretty creepy. Can't can't see Mother Gust opens. So let me guess, we're gonna see that uh, we're gonna see that as a boss eventually. The monster? Yeah. Um, uh, maybe. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Or maybe so, who knows. And guess where we end up. Oh, that's the house where we got bonk in the head. Yeah, so apparently the monster just lives here. Yep, he lives in the house and the mine. Although how it gets past the door without using the flamethrower, I'm not sure. Resident Evil logic! Yeah, apparently, like, locked doors only hinder you, the player, anyone else can just phase through. Yep. I guess I could've, because now we're just, we're really just walking back to the mansion, there's nothing on the way. Yeah. I guess I should've, uh, sped that up. Uh, I was just happy to see a regular zombie again. <laughs> I think there's a couple more on the way. Yeah. They don't do anything. Yeah, there's a couple more here for some reason, instead of crows. Well, I guess they're definitely more threatening, but the thing is the place is so big that they're not even remotely a threat. Alright, so what's gonna be next on the agenda now? Oh, please tell me we're gonna have a reunion with Barry Heaven Uh, well, this update is pretty much done. We're just walking to our next objective, but we're gonna stop before. So we're gonna take that. Oh. Metal object. It's a key to go outside, but we don't need to go out there anymore. Uh oh. Um, and we need that item. I think that's a little unintuitive, but you eventually figure out that you can just take it out when you get there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you need that key to open another door. 
Yeah, this, however, probably will be the one part that may end up stomping some people because it's, I think it's not. It's not completely. It's just a little unintuitive, but you'll see. You'll see. It's not too hard to figure out because if you remember in what was his name, the the mansion's owner's room. I forget his name. Spence, Spencer. Oh yeah. We found this metal object, and now in the cabin under the mine. Well, the mine under the cabin. Yeah, I'm good with words. In the mine under the cabin, we found this stone object. If we combine this two, we get the same exact key. Ah ha 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 ha. So now we have two keys. Yeah, we have two keys and we have to find... Basically, there's a place that needs both. Oh. And... I will make you notice that everything we've done until this point has basically been to get uh, to get these two keys. Oh god. <laughs> Actually no, get these two keys and also the eagle and wolf emblem. Oh yeah. We need those two. It's yeah, I don't know, it's a whole bunch of key collecting. And collect weapons, I guess. We're gonna need weapons. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is we're leaving the mansion and we're not coming back. Oh. Alright, it's time to tidy it up and be ready to resell it. To what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what is that word you said? Because I have no idea. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it's that place. I, t I don't know how this lock works. All that but I know is that the motif the... Uh, underneath the places where you must put the stones just really look like a foot or something. I... okay. Maybe. But apparently putting the two symbols in those, uh... In, in places means just... It works. Uh oh. So we... yeah, we're done. I'm just gonna grab a thing. Yeah, it's pretty convenient of them to put the box where all of your belongings right down the stairs. This game is all about being convenient and not tedious at all. Especially if you play in... Uh, what was the mode where you have uh, independent boxes? Uh, real, real survival, I oh think. Oh boy. 